like, comment, subscribe. It's me, Talia Arisa Gibson. You can call me Tag for short. And welcome to my channel. <laughs> so today I have some um, Chapel Hill sausage, rice, cucumber, egg, and the last of my beloved Smackalicious sauce. So again, I used the recipe. I did not have the sauce pack, but I used um, her recipe video to make it. Um, and this is the last of it from the batch that I made earlier in the week. So I'm going to say a prayer and get started. Dear God, thank you for this food that I'm about to eat. Thank you for the viewers who are watching. God, please keep them safe and healthy. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. A. So I'm going to get started. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get started. Hot. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, this combination is like a party in your mouth. It really is. I can see the rice. One of these eggs. Ooh, ooh. That sauce is hot from temperature hot. Onion. This um B Love sauce is definitely a treat for me. Can't eat it every day or every week, but it is a good treat every now and then. And when I make it, I usually have to make sure that I that I have the sauce with some crab legs, have the sauce with some chicken legs, and have the sauce with some sausage. <laughs> by the time I've done all that, usually by then the sauce is gone after I've eaten it in those bath batches. <laughs> so how are y'all doing? How are y'all um, feeling about everything going on 
getting ready for elections and stuff like that. So, you know, I have mixed feelings about everything because politics are a little strange to me because one moment people are debating next moment they're joining forces and I think politicians should try not to overpromise things because sometimes I think they do like overpromise like and maybe they mean well but Sometimes you can say you're going to do all these things, but you have to look at the big picture. Like, are you really going to be able to do all those things that you say? I don't know. I'm just watching. You know, people will say a lot of things, but sometimes you just got to be quiet and just watch and see what people actually do. So... I think Biden needed somebody with um, thick skin and also with a background and somebody with more energy. Um, and I think she does have those things, so. We'll see because I mean he's older and sometimes sometimes it you wonder if he hears well and stuff like that. Oh um, mm -hmm. have y'all have you guys ever watched that um <clears throat> series called ID? crazy I was watching another one but this one wasn't um I don't think it was by ID I think it was there's another show that's similar they reenact um real life like cases and kind of go through them um what was it called I can't remember but the girl's name was Renita and she was like someone who always like loved posting on social media and stuff. And I think 
It was in Shreveport, Louisiana. And um, she had two or three kids. Um, I think three from a previous relationship. And she met this guy and they got along well. The family said that he like helped, he was supportive with her kids. He would help out and they got along well and stuff. But then I guess it turned out that he had, cause I think he was from Houston. Or he got a job in Houston or something while they were together. And so he would commute. He would commute to um, see her in Louisiana. And um, her best friend said that he was cool and everything. Um, and the girl, Renita, really cared about him. But he ended up having another girl in Houston and they they knew about each other. They found out about each other. And I guess they decided that they both were gonna stay with them, but they would be bashing each other on social media back and forth, like on Facebook, posting stuff, trying to get back at each other, the two women, while he's enjoying seeing both of them. But I guess the girl, Renita, finally got tired of it. And so she um, broke it off and she started seeing some other guy that treated her really nice and stuff. And so the guy started like stalking her. Now, mind you, he still has the girlfriend in Houston, but he was having his friends um, uh, follow her and send him video of like her with this other guy. And he even showed up at um, a restaurant she was at with this guy, with this new guy and um, when she was in the restroom, allegedly he walked in and like threatened her and like put his um, hand around her throat and stuff like that. And then um, eventually she was at home with her brother, her mom. Thankfully the kids were at school, but um, he showed up at her house and he was like, let me in. She wouldn't open the door. So he kicked the door down and he, um, oh, she had posted some video um, on Facebook, um, basically like bashing his girlfriend in Houston and saying all this stuff about like, if he was your man and why is he with me? Why is he coming back to me? Stuff like that. So um, I guess he didn't like that. And um, he showed up at her house and um, he ended up having an AK-47 and he, um, the mom, was in the house, I think she was in the kitchen and she um, told him, I'm gonna call the police and he pointed the gun. She took off running, he shot at the mom, but he missed her. So the mom took off running to the neighbors and called the police. So the girl, Renita and her brother were still in the house and um, the police showed up and the guy started shooting at the officers. And so um, he uh, called his girlfriend, he had her on the phone and was like, get on, get on Facebook Live, I'm about to, this." you're about to get your apology or something. And so he made um, the girl Renita go live and apologize for making that video. Um, and so she was live and he's walking behind her um, with the gun and everything. And uh, they have they showed some of the actual footage because um, it was from her real live on Facebook. Um, but in that, you could see him walking behind her, but you couldn't really see the gun, but um, then he, uh, basically said, I'm gonna make you famous. You want to be famous? I'm gonna make you famous. Cause she used to always post everything on Facebook. So he shot her while she was on Facebook live and the police were outside. The brother, when he, when he, um, he was sitting right there when it happened. And so he just decided to take off running because he was like, if he's gonna kill me, he's gonna have to kill me while I'm trying to escape. Cause he thought, surely if he killed my sister, he's gonna shoot me. So he took off running and he didn't, he um, 
I think he shot at him, but he didn't shoot him. And so he got out with the officers and um, his girlfriend was still on the phone when all of that happened. And she talked him into turning himself into police and he turned himself in. I think he got life um, plus a hundred years or something like that. So he'll never get out, but it was crazy. Like if you ever watch that show, ID and, and then this other one, it wasn't called ID. I forgot what it was, but they're just, it's crazy the stuff that um, happens with do domestic violence situations and things like that. It's crazy. But anyways, as you can see, I am done. So I'm going to get off. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm just sitting here rambling and eating my lunch. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you'll know when I post. I love you so much. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.